island. And he told the chief in 1946. Judah, we are testing these bombs for the good of mankind and to end all world wars. The chief Judah did not understand English, but the word mankind stuck in his mind because he knew it from the Bible. So the chief gave the permission to the American official. When the Navy official came, it was too late. There were already thousands of soldiers and scientists on the atoll, and hundreds of airplanes and ships in the Bikini Lagoon. They were ready to conduct their tests. The Bikinians had no choice but to leave their island, and they have never returned. The Navy official did not tell the chief that the Bikinians would not see their home again. Today, Bikini is off limits for 30,000 years. And there are other Pacific islands and other irradiated areas around our globe, which are off limits for all time. They suffer from cold sickness, from ill health and cancer. And in their bodies, they carry the seeds which generate abnormal children. Jellyfish babies have no eyes, no legs, no arms. Women who have nurtured them in their wombs get crazy when they see them. How many share their destiny among the survivors of Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Chernobyl, or Kuba? In our recent history, we have lived a moment of hope when the Cold War was over and world leaders started speaking of converting arms into plowshares. Then there came the Gulf War to liberate Kuwait, to defend what is right, and to preserve the stability and the security of the Gulf on which the U.S. vital national interests depend. The words are quoted from Mr. President Bush's address to the nation, March 91. Technology won the war, but it doesn't build peace. To the contrary, nations who can rely on such phenomenal technology arsenals as we have seen during the Gulf War will easily be tempted to use them even before exhausting all other possible ways to settle their disputes. We believe that a healthy and sustainable environment is contingent upon respect for human rights, participatory democracy, the self-determination of peoples, respect for indigenous peoples and their lands, cultures, traditions, and the protection of all species. Yes. Uh, my name is Dagmar Thorpe. I'm Sacken Fox from Oklahoma. And in addition to the issue of representation of Native American women, it's not only our numbers, but our worldview and our perspective that is critically missing here. The absolute bottom line has to be the natural world taking precedence over human beings. And that we as human beings are only a part are only a part of the entire natural world and we are an interrelated and interconnected part of that and that when in our relationships to the natural world we need to give co-equal consideration to all of life and all of life has an inherent right to its own existence whether it's human plant or animal and that we as human beings who are given the choice to support or to destroy life must view our role as caretaker rather than exploiter that the natural laws that were given to all of us from the Creator and that are embodied in the spiritual traditions of human beings must take precedence over the laws of human beings. That the principle of only taking from the earth what is needed to maintain a simple life rather than 